the Lord the other night when I was praying at 3 a.m., he kept on bringing to me Gideon. He said, read and study Gideon. Look at what Gideon, he, he, Gideon. And as we were praying at 3 a.m. in the morning, as soon as I put the phone down, I went to look at Gideon. God spoke something very powerful to me in Gideon. And this is especially for those that are into deliverance. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, Judges chapter 6. Watch this. Judges chapter 6. Amen. Amen. It's after Joshua. Judges chapter 6. The Israelites did evil in the Lord's sight. So the Lord handed them over to the Midianites for seven years. The Midianites, listen to this, were so cruel that the Israelites made hiding places for themselves in the mountains, caves, and strongholds. Imagine, you're hiding away. Because they were so cruel. Whenever the Israelites planted their crops, marauders from Midian, Amalek, and the people of the east would attack Israel. So whenever they had crops. Camping in the land and destroying crops as far away as Gaza. They left the Israelites with nothing to eat. Taking all the sheep, goats, cattle, and donkeys. These enemy hordes coming with their livestock and tents were as thick as locusts. Wow. Thick as locusts. These media nuts. They arrived on droves of camels too numerous to count. And they stayed until the land was stripped bare. So Israel was reduced to starvation by the media nuts. Then the Israelites cried out to the Lord for help. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So look at what was happening to the Israelites. Reduced to starvation because of these Midianites. When they would come, they were as thick as locusts. They would take everything, their crops, their wheat, their sheep, their goats, everything. These poor people didn't have nothing to eat. Reduced to starvation. And when I was reading that, it reminded me of the enemy. When he attacks, we have an enemy, each and every one of us. Satan and his devils. When they attack, they will try to take everything. They're so cruel. They will, they will try to reduce us to nothing. Hallelujah. And when they cried out to the Lord because of media, and the Lord sent a prophet to the Israelites, he said, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, I brought you up out of slavery in Egypt. I rescue you from the Egyptians and from all who oppressed you. I dwell out your enemies and gave you their land. I told you I am the Lord your God. You must not worship the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live, but you have not listened to me. So many times, come, sister, come. Don't oh, bless you. Come. Take a seat there. So many times, hallelujah, because of our unfaithfulness to God. The Bible in Hosea says we have fickle hearts. Fickle hearts means we are disloyal. Many times we are disloyal. We waver. We compromise. We have one foot in the world and one foot with God. Hallelujah. We allow things. We allow sin. Hallelujah. And then what does God do? He deals with us. He does. And he did the same thing to these Israelites. But God is also a, a merciful, merciful God. And he sees the blood. And the blood speaks for us. The blood of Jesus. Jesus. So let's look at verse 11. Then the angel of the Lord came and sat beneath a great tree at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash of the clan of Abiza. Gideon, son of Joash, was threshing wheat at the bottom of the wine press to hide the grain from the Midianites. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, watch this. Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. 
Now Gideon was shocked to be called a mighty hero. <laughs> he said, Sir, Gideon replied, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? And where are all the miracles our ancestors told us about? Did they say the Lord brought us up out of Egypt? And now the Lord, but now the Lord has abandoned us and handed us over to the Midianites. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. And this is what Gideon replied. He said, But Lord, how can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh. And I'm the least in my entire family. This is what he said. He said, who am I? You asking me? <laughs> my clan is the weakest in Manasseh. Well, of all the tribes, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the least. Are you telling me a great hero, mighty hero, go and rescue Israel? Against the Midianites, which when they would cover the land, they were like locusts. What are you saying, God? <laughs> Hallelujah. So this is, you see, and this, again, made me realize, and we know this anyway. Come, brother. That the Lord, come, brother. Amen. The Lord, hallelujah, he doesn't look the Bible said, at, at the outer appearance. He looks at the heart, number one. And also God, and unlike man and woman, we look at the outer appearance. Is this person the right person? But also, God will choose the weakest amongst us. The, 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 the one that isn't anything. You may look at somebody and think, this isn't anything or anyone. Why? We don't know what God is doing. How God is working behind the scenes. Amen. Hallelujah. God is God. And he wanted to show here. I can use someone like Gideon. To deliver me. To deliver the Israelites from the Midianites. And if you read on. You can read on and on and on. You will see and you will read. So go read at home. How God used Gideon. And just three hundred Israelites to destroy all the Midianites. Now imagine all of them. The Bible says they were like locusts when they cover the land. And their camels were like droves. Just imagine. Well, do you understand? And God used this man, me, this man, Gideon, to destroy all thousands upon hundreds and thousands of Midianites with just him and the Bible says 300 Israelites. There were 22,000 Israelites that wanted to go with Gideon. And God said, no. Then Gideon said, okay, I'll take 10,000. And God said, no. <laughs> you need 100 over 100,000 Midianites. And you're not even telling me, allow me to take 10,000. God said, no. Because this is my battle. Hallelujah. And then he said, you're just going to take what? 300 Israelites. Imagine. Gideon. With 300 people to go and to destroy over a hundred thousand Midianites. And he did it. How God did it, God fought the battle and they won. And Gideon, the Bible says, destroyed Midianites, the army of Midian. And to this day, they never were able to stand up against the Midianites. They were completely destroyed because of that one man called Gideon and the 300 Israelites with him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So when we go into battle, no matter how many hundreds and thousands of Midianites, spirits, demonic forces, evil things we are fighting, we are not going alone in battle. We are going with God. And God will do the miracle in our lives. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But there's something else I wanted to bring to your possession, to your attention. This is so powerful, especially those for deliverance. Let's go to Judges chapter 6. This will blow you away. Turn to your neighbor and say, blow you away. Because when I was reading this, it blew me away. Gideon now, he says, I'm no one. 
I'm the least in my tribe. I'm the least in my clan. I'm the least in my family. I'm no one. I'm weak. I'm, I'm nothing. Yes. <laughs> but look what God did to Gideon. And what power came on Gideon. And this is what we're going to pray on today. He said, Amen. Soon, and let's look at Gideon verse chapter uh, Gideon chapter six. Sorry, <laughs> Judges chapter six, and we go to verse thirty-three. Judges chapter six, verse thirty-three. If you have a highlighter or a pen, highlight this word, these words. Use your pen to underline them. Judges chapter six, verse thirty-three. Soon, if you got, if you Especially if you, or those of you in deliverance, if you catch this, my goodness, the enemies are going to be scared. Soon afterward, the armies of Midian, Amalek, and the people of the east formed an alliance against Israel. Imagine all of Midian, all of Amalek, and the people of the east against one man, against Israel, and especially against him, Gideon. And crossed the Jordan, camping in the valley of Jezreel. Watch this, verse 34. Then the Spirit of the Lord took possession of Gideon. What happened? The Spirit of the Lord took possession of Gideon. I'm going to say it again. The Spirit of God took possession of Gideon. That was it. That was it. That is where when the Holy Spirit takes possession over you, people of God, and we need to pray this. You say, well, Pastor Maria, the Bible says, the temple, I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we are. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, because of the blood of Jesus. Amen. But what we're going to stand on is this. Because of sin, because of things we allow, amen, the Spirit of God sometimes can't move over us. Did you know that? So we need to ask God. We are going to go into a battle today. I need the Spirit of God to come over me, to take possession over me. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, not any other devil. Amen. <laughs> Don't get it mixed up now. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't be starting a deliverance today, yeah? <laughs> the Holy Spirit to take possession over you. And that was how he won against the Midianites. Because the Spirit of God came upon him. And if you read in Samson, the Bible says in Samson, Samson, the, what, the Spirit of God would come upon Samson. And when the Spirit of God would come upon Samson, what did he do? He would destroy the Philistines. The Philistines had no way. All these Philistines, they couldn't fight one man called Samson. The Spirit of God, that anointing of strength, which was the Holy Spirit, would come upon Samson, and he had so much strength, <laughs> no Philistine could stand in his way. Praise the Lord. No matter how many of them were, <laughs> they, they were there. So in the same way, it happened to Gideon. Just allow. The Spirit of God would come upon him. One man. And he had the power to destroy all the Midianites. Today, what Midianites, what Amalekites are attacking your life in the Spirit? What are fighting you? The generational curses, the ancestral curses, the evil altars, the chains, the cages, the witchcraft, the curses. What is it that is fighting your life, your destiny, your marriage, your home? What is it that's fighting? Hallelujah. Amen. Today, we are going to call the Spirit of God, the precious Holy Spirit, to take possession over us. As we're going to go into warfare. And we're going to destroy every media night, every Amalekite. Any witchcraft, any curse, anything. You know what is hindering your life. You know what is fighting you in the spirit. But let me tell you one thing. 
You cannot do it by yourself. We cannot go into battle by ourselves. We thank Jesus because of the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. But we say, Lord, in Chronicles, it says, this is your battle. I give it over to you. And Lord, I ask the Holy Spirit to come and take possession over me. So when I'm going to warfare and I speak in tongues, no devil can stand in the way. They will be destroyed. Just like those hundreds and thousands of Midianites were destroyed. So any spirit fighting my life, any witchcraft fighting my health, any devil destroying my mental health, my children, my marriage, my finance, my business, whatever it is, my education, whatever it is, God, let the Spirit of God take possession over me and let me destroy them completely. Doesn't matter how many there are, hundreds of thousands, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's all stand up right now. We're going to take Holy Communion. Amen. And before we take Holy Communion, it's very important to repent. And we're going to take Holy Communion and then we're going to do this. It's very important to repent before the Lord and say, God, I am sorry. Forgive me for everything I have done, knowingly and unknowingly. Things I think, think things that are in my heart, things I say. Forgive me. 